Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Undaunted Breakfast with the Loops. In the last episode, we did a mission involving Micah, and as always, I feel I should tell you. I saw some Combs boys riding around down here. What they want? I have no idea. They see you? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Karen. Mm-hmm. Anyways. So we did a mission involving Micah. He had some plan to uh, get us to, um, you know, have a make a truce with the uh, O'Driscolls. Obviously, it was a trap. It went sideways, and um, Arthur got kidnapped and uh, tortured, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And now it's been a few weeks since that uh, event, and I'm gonna go talk to Trelawney here, who's been waiting for a few weeks. <laughs> Trelawney, I'm sorry it's taken me weeks to uh, come speak with you, but. Um, uh, no, actually, now that I've been uh, fully healed, uh, and it looks like you are as well, my friend. Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. I would have even thought. Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head. Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I, um. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So um, where do we find this friend of yours? Rhodes. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Arthur. Well, lead the way and we'll find out. Have you somehow developed the ability to, um... You are you a ventriloquist? You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks Ooh. for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So, where exactly are we going? Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Of course you will. Of course you will. And am I gonna be introduced to someone's gun to my face? Is that the introduction that you're about to set us up to? Good, Good work, grief. Man. What do you got for me, man? Might want to hitch a little faster there, buddy. Arthur, also, I don't know if Arthur has maybe become a telepath since his injury. Come on. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Or maybe he has I become a forgot. master ventriloquist. Me to give you a message to meet him here in town as soon as you can. Something to do with the Grays. I thought I'd nab you first. I got some you did? Okay. Thanks. Went straight to the law. Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a Bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? 
terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The wickedness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Should I just whip it out? What do you want me to do? Oh, we pay him. I see. Here. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. He's one of us. A fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the... What did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it. Discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden. Or should I say... Adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. Interesting. What huh. the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. You might want to see that outside of earshot. Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, are we getting on uh, our horses or are we just going to walk? Ain't no way I'm leaving without Rodney. Come on now, boy. Who's this fucking degenerate, tiny ass, minuscule okay, horse go. next to mine? Who do you think you are? Let's study it. What are you? Tennessee Walker. And I believe Trelawney's on the same one, maybe? I have no idea. Like I said before, I am not an equestrian. Um, all I know is that the uh, Arabian horses what have. Can I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble. You gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. He always if does. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? Alright. So wait, am I just doing the robbing by myself? Is Trelawney not, uh... Not helping me out? I'm assuming he's not. Okay, fine. So we're exact- we Oh, I guess we just follow him. I guess we wait now, right? Is that what you're trying to say here? Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well. According to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. What's with the music? Oh, there, there they are. It is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. Okay, alright. How far back should I, uh... Should I hang? Who... Who's that... What's that band that's following us around? Playing that very distinct music in the background there, Trelawney. I'll Any idea? And get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. Okay. Alright. Oh, I can see what Trelawney's doing? Oh, no, no, 
Okay. <laughs> What's going on there? The New York audience, they were rather cruel. New Yorkers are freaks and fools who believe Westerners don't know anything about culture. I couldn't agree more. Hmm. Could you? It's it's such a small show, but would you see something for me? I, I'm looking for a mezzo soprano. Well, I, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this now. I wonder if I should have uh, done this at night or something. Okay, let's not be too hasty. <laughs> Though it is a little rude of Trelawney to just, um, you know, open the door. Like that. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I've heard enough. Might I have your card? The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough about Mrs. Damson. Magnifico. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. <laughs> Fantastic, and they're none the wiser. <laughs> Arthur, you could have done them the common decency of, uh, you know, stop or um, closing off their thing there, rather than leaving it open to get uh, further robbed or dropped. A little finesse for once. Eh? A man of many surprises there, Trelawney. I am capable of stealth. Very capable of stealth. Well done! Sir, well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Oh wow! Holy crap! Almost like a thousand buckaronis. Holy shit! So how'd I do? Oh, eight minutes and ten seconds. What are you talking about, man? It's not like I, you know, had a choice on um, how soon I could rob that thing. But, or maybe I could, I don't know. And it uh, looks like Bill has a mission for us in Rhodes. Alright, Bill, you're in luck because I'm right here. Um, Should I maybe do some alligator hunting? Nah, it's fine. Let's not worry about that. Let's go see Bill. Oh, now this is awkward. Now I'm, like, moving with Trelawney at the same... Okay. Well, I guess we said um, goodbye too early there, Trelawney, because now we're walking in the same direction, and now it's super awkward. So I'm just gonna um, go the other direction and hope that perhaps I don't accidentally have to uh, ride by you. It's like when you say bye to your friends, and then you, um, you're you actually walking in the same direction. It's like, oh, well, I mean, I already said bye to you. I can't possibly have another conversation with you, right? Looking real nice today, Bill. Shut up. What's, uh... <laughs> 
going on here? Bill, are you uh, being hit on with by some gentleman? Or is that Micah? Oh god, it's fucking Micah. Ah, jeez. Been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what about born in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so. Yeah. They think it was the bright ones. Listen. No, 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 no. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud. Stop! I can't control Arthur. No. They were saying that Catherine Braithwaite. Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right. I could have told you. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Sean! I was not expecting that! I thought he would die! I thought he would sell us out or something! Damn! Fuck! Also, where the fuck's my hat? Alright. How could you not think this was a trap? You sure you want to talk about this now, Morgan? Wait, what was the plan in the first place? Alright now. I got us pinned in good. I'll kill this whole town if I What was the plan in the first place? I don't understand why Sean had to die. You take a pack! Fuck. Oh, is he dead? Alright, you know what? You all bitches going for a ride. Ah, dang it. Come on. Arthur. Ah, I got him in the back. Alright. Atta boy! Wait, wait, before I go though. Oh shit, Sean? Oh, Sean. Uh, where's my hat, by the way? Anyone see my hat? Anyone? Has anyone seen my hat? In a sec, I'm looking for my hat. Okay, fine, fine. You got me. Oh. In a sec, in a sec. I'm working on it. Oh my god. Oh, there's my hat? Oh, jeez. Was here the whole time. Oh, this belongs in a museum. Alright, let's get out of here. What is this? Double barreled shotgun? Don't I already have? You know what? Let's uh, switch this out. I don't know why this is. Hey, hey, hey. Nice. Explosive slugs. Break the lock? No, just kick it. You're darn tootin'. Oh! Hello, sir. Good grief. Oh my god! Holy shit! Oh my god! I didn't think that kind of gore existed in this game. Don't talk to me about sloppy. Better in here, not there. Uh... Oh no! <laughs> I <laughs> I thought I <laughs> oops. <laughs> uh, well, you know what? It was for the best. His time had come. Micah was a dumb son of a bitch who got us all killed. So uh, good for us, right? Good for us. Yeah, you don't say. All right. All right. In a sec, guys. In a sec. This is you and me, Morgan. It's shitty cover. What the fuck happened to Bill, by the way? 
see Bill anywhere? Uh, oh. Just as I was asking. Fucking can't see that guy. Oh. We'd have had to deal with these sons of bitches sooner or later. Just turned out to be sooner. Eh, that's a good point, actually. Those cowards running away. He's just walking? Not all of them. The fuck? Why is he just walking? And what about Bill? Where the hell's he? We'll find him later. Will we though? Alright, before I go anywhere. Let me make sure that I there we go. Rifle cartridges. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, Micah, what's going on there? Just having some kind of like a um, royal rumble. Micah, can you wait? I'm kind of in the middle of um, looting this uh, gunsmith. So, if you could. Sorry, no, no. Okay, maybe not. Alright, Micah, I'm coming in. Don't you worry. Oh, there's a lot of dead bodies. Shit, Micah. Shit. Just randomly loot this one guy. After we're done with you, we'll go after the others. Your women, your children, we'll bleed them all out one by one. What do you want to do, Are Micah? You out of your goddamn mind. Last chance. Die in there cowering like a dog, or come out and face it like a man. Fucking going Hulk Hogan. We'll come out. Yeah. Oh, Bill. Guns on the ground now. Both of you. Don't do it. You know we can't do that. You put the gun down, Chef. I'll blow his brains out. You want to join your little friend there, do you? Either way, you're a dead man. Morgan? Oh, oops. That was not intended at all. How the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you. Same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what, six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Bury him proper someplace quiet. Maka! Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. Um, do I get to loot this place before we move on? I mean, we just destroyed the entire town of Rhodes, didn't we? He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we are making of things. Not gonna lie, I did not see that coming. Now they're now in lockdown. Remaining lawmen in the area will be looking for me. Wow, I got none of that. Complete using only sidearms. I kind of wish that we could know some of these before we start. So that we don't have to, like, fucking replay this entire thing just to get, like, higher ratings or whatever. Ah, jeez. Alright, alright. That's fine, that's fine. Hmm. Well, I mean, yep. I guess the whole... That explains what... Not really what explains what happens, but... That pretty much, um... Resolves the whole issue we've had with the, uh... With the... What's my, whatchamacallit? The, um... The gunsmith, right? Because remember we killed the gunsmith? 
<laughs> and then we uh, shut up the entire town, so now everyone's dead. <laughs> oh man, alright. Well, let us be off. I don't know what kind of quest uh, Dutch has for us, but I'm assuming it's going to be... It's... I, my guess is that it's probably going to be the last one before the um, end of the chapter, is my thinking. So, I don't know. I don't know if maybe it might be a good idea for me to just end the episode now and then uh, come back tomorrow. Because I'm expecting this um, this quest to be a long one. Actually, you know what? Here, sorry. Here, so there's something that we can do um, whilst we wait for the end of this episode. Let's go fishing. Let's go see this legendary fish. Um, I'm assuming it's a small rock bass or something. In any case, let's go uh, see about this rock bass. Legendary uh, thingamajig. And uh, see if we can catch it. Because it is currently, what? 6.42 p.m. So probably not the best time to be uh, going around fishing. Because I believe um, uh, Javier said that the best time to go fishing is in the morning. When the uh, bugs are active and, uh, you know, the fish are also active because the bugs are active, right? Okay. But still won't, won't give it a try. Um, we'll see if we can catch the old legendary fish from over here. And uh, there we go. Alright, so let's give this a try. Let's put on our special lake lure. Yes. How about this bait, I wonder? This is a lake, right? Where am I? Oh, this is a lake. A flat iron lake. Okay. This is, of course, the site of the famous flat iron building in, um, in New York, right? As you can see, you can clearly see where the flat iron building will be uh, built. On, uh, on this pristine lake here. Oh, I got something! I got something! Oh, is it the legendary fish? Is it? Could it be? Alright, alright. I've gotten significantly better at fishing since the last time we tried, by the way. So, you may be amazed at how good I am and uh, how it sounds like I'm definitely jerking myself off. But, but I'm not. Not jerking myself off, believe me. Okay, you have to trust me. I'm not... I'm not masturbating furiously. Though it does sound like it. Whoa, is this it? Damn, that's you. All right. Oh, 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 we did it! Holy shit! Let's throw it back. No. <laughs> nice. Incredible. In one try. That was absolutely fantastic. Holy shit. We did it. We found the legendary bluegill. Ah, oh, nice. So fucking good. <laughs> What an absolutely fantastic uh, way to end the episode. So let's do that. Let's end the episode off for now. We'll come back tomorrow and uh, I guess we'll go see about um, what uh, what Dutch wants. I'm assuming he's probably going to ask us to move out and all that such again. Because I'm pretty sure we're compromised here. What with us having been, uh, you know, pissing off the greys and the uh, bratwursts, as it were. Alright, so, um, I will head on into camp in between episodes, or maybe do some hunting or something, um, and then we'll see you guys there. So for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!